Shouldn't have run that multiple times. It is a vanilla interface. Okay. Whew. All right. So, guys, here is the deal. This is the third mission of the two-day event uh, between Solitude Games and Weekly Operated Game. Um, weekly Op... Oh, my gosh. W-O-G. I always screw up their little call sign there. But, all right. Today... Let me make sure I'm on direct communique. Little bit of desync on the server already. That's not a good sign. Well, in the meantime, let's go ahead and look at let the server recover real quick. But I'll explain the mission, guys. So uh, it is two factions. Blue 4 is going to be... Let me go ahead and look. Looks like they are the German forces that are attacking the AO. Uh, they are Solitude Gaming's forces. And then the Polish forces are uh, WOG. They are defending for the first scenario here. So you already have them starting to set up everywhere. They're in their warm-up phase, ready to go. Um, I think server just paused for that little bit of desync there. But that is fine. Um... That's all just to get me in the spectator interface here. As you can see, we've got some pretty fancy armor pieces here something might have just fired or exploded but otherwise this appears to be the ao they're defending they're utilizing the global mobilization assets over here interesting uh in order to make this little polish base i believe it is for control of that sector uh, for the first round here. So you already have blue four trying to encroach in on this ao blue four have Pumas, as well as leopard tanks, and a lot of armed. Uh, oh my gosh, they have the little. Um, oh, what are they called? The little tankettes. I forget the exact name of them, but I also have the Fouche APCs with the MG3s in front. They got a medical one as well, but there is quite a bit here to work with. They also have the uh, ones with the auto cans and whatnot. Oh god. So it looks like they just uh, froze and unfroze the server to fix that desync, which is why you just saw that thing teleport. Let's go ahead and look over all of our assets, though. Um, i to be a little quicker with this because of the vanilla interface. So we've got a Puma on the field. We have, I forget what the um, German car with the crow system gun is on top. We got one of these on the field as well. We have another Puma in play, another Puma over here. <sighs> I think it's called a Leopard. Uh, there's one of the medical fushes. We have uh, a transport APC fush on the field. Another one down there. One right here. There's the little tank yet. Again, I'm blanking on the name. I think it's a Lynx. It's either... I think it's a Lynx. I don't know. Could be wrong there. You got two guys dismounted right here. It looks like they have another uh, Lynx up here. They've uh, put a little tank uh, camo net on it. Looks like it's the uh, AT one. Otherwise, another medical vehicle there, another transport foosh, another transport foosh right there. A lot of APCs here. Another little tankette. I love those things so much. So they got multiple uh, tankette teams with all that. And then we've got a squad out and about right here. So command team, they've got a, a GMG Humvee uh, in play right here. We got an infantry squad out and about already. Uh, looking at, we got another M2 Humvee right here. That's pretty awesome to see. Another infantry squad. They've got another M2 Humvee with them. This group has... Looks like a... It's not a PKM Humvee. It's the UZ something. It's the Polish equivalent of the PKM. Uh, chambered in 762 by 51 NATO. Got another AGS Humvee in the field here. We've got an M2 50 cal Humvee there. Uh, another UZM Humvee with that group. Looks like everyone is in that Humvee transporting. Uh, this group, meanwhile, I think they have another Humvee to work with here. And then we've got a dead guy. Ah, a truck exploded, probably through the desync. That's unfortunate. But we've got another AGS Humvee out here. And then you got this group. They've got one of the vanilla, I forget the exact name of this asset, but that is out on the field as well. Um, I think there's only two or three of those in the field. And then they also have, um, I'm not sure if they have one or two of their own leopards on the field. I forget the exact image, but like I said, there's a lot of vehicle combat expected here. This is another 220 player event servers uh, 
Taking it a little worse than uh, last week, but that was on a different server. I think it was WOG server, now it's Solitude server, so it's understandable. You know, just gotta open up the door, feed the Russian in there, <laughs> make sure he's A-OK. -okay. But we are also gonna be on a 20 minute delay today, guys. So in terms of the prediction, I'm gonna put the prediction up when the stream officially goes live for 20 minutes. I'm just um, trying to make sure nothing crazy happens. Um, but if I need to put it to 15 minutes because combat already starts, I will. Uh, I will just manage that where I can. But you have some blue four guys reconning the uh, central route. I think, again, the overall objective is to get that area in uh, Krizias, or I probably butchered the name of that too. I'm not really good on German names, but Op4 WOG has already done a really good job of countering everywhere where they think blue four is going to come in. However, I think there's going to be a bit of a weakness here as blue four focuses on pushing pretty much up the main forest area. The map is Cham, by the way. A um, lot of Op4 focused on the southern defensive side, whereas Blue4, I think, is just going to be taking a much more direct route, crossing the border here. And already going in. We do have a northern border push here by four reconnaissance forces. That's going to be countered by Op4 with uh, double that eight, and then they've got an uh, APC slash IFE nearby. Blue4 dismounting, taking this town up here as well. Looks like the server's actually stabilizing pretty well. Um, I'd say... Honestly, a healthy amount of desync for, you know, 220 players. I'm comparing it to, like, you know, an FNF server. It's not that bad. Otherwise, I think this is going to be our main point of contact here. So, we'll just have to see how that goes. Ah, uh, drinking a bit of tea. Bloodwing made me breakfast again. Life is good. <laughs> Life is very good. But let's see. We got the Op4 tank on reserve. We got another IFE back here. They've got one of their Humvees in play over here. I really like the vehicle spread that WOG has been doing. But, I mean, when you look at the sheer amount of Blue Force vehicles, they've got, you know, their Crow System cars. They've got Puma, APC slash IFVs. By the way, APC Armor Personnel Carrier means it carries troops in it. IFE, Infantry Fighting Vehicle, it means it has an auto cannon, uh, something that'll shred infantry pretty quickly. And, yes, I think it all has HE rounds today. It's, <laughs> it's one of those... And then we got our little tank head. So I love that they added that on the German side. Uh, but just some massive dismounts here. We're probably going to see a big point of fighting over here. Definitely the biggest amount of fighting is going to be in this uh, forested area. Uh, Op4 is eventually going to have to move forces off of its southern line to reinforce the AO itself. Because there's a lot of dudes coming in on this area. And another flank's going to be opened as these guys come in from the northern side. So... It's a little worrying, but remembering the last two missions, the winner was um, WOG on both rounds because they were able to really capitalize on taking out enemy vehicles throughout the fighting. So through that, they were able to eventually, I mean, in the first mission, they were able to completely dominate after they took out the numbers on uh, the vehicle side and then just use their vehicles to bulldoze the remaining infantry. Uh, the second mission was a little closer. Both sides doing a great job utilizing their ATGMs and uh, long-range supports. Uh, drones to take out. Um, it was Solitude's uh, BTR-80 Alphas uh, were taken out really well by drones, by ATGM use. Uh, even one dude trying to track down for a BTR-80 Alpha for like 30 minutes and finally got an AT4 in it. But it was all of those moves that nullified the massive amount of auto cannons that solitude had as the attacking faction and uh wog was able to win it like in like a turn of the tide style scenario and actually win with a pretty decent number advantage at least having two dozen players or so around by the end so it's crazy how all of these things add up but it's very important for these types of scenarios in all honesty So I'm going to be honest, looking at this AO, though, looking at the uh, vehicle advantage that Blue 4 has, I would compare it like what I saw in the second round of last week, where I think one side has way too many vehicle assets, but we saw them countered quite well. This one, I think it's the same thing. I think Op4 uh, and Blue 4, there is definitely a vehicle imbalance here, but I think Op4 has the ability to turn that around because Op4 has a lot more light attack vehicles like AGS Humvees. Uh, and I think those are going to really turn it around if they are put in proper positions and if Blue 4 groups up on their attack waves. I think a proper use of uh, 
GMG is going to be absolutely deadly on what we see here. So we have some scout forces out in the AO already. Uh, these guys, I think, are just simply sentries uh, that are going to relay back the command to see where hostiles are coming from. But right here, there's our first blood. Ovid dropping and eliminating someone on that side. This is the vanilla spectator interface, so it's going to be different. Grenades are being thrown. These are reconnaissance forces with suppressed weapons on the German side. Great eyes. Oh, I think he just died to grenades. Never mind. <laughs> he um, was going to give him praise, but now his name's gone. I don't know where he went. That was... Um, it wasn't him because he died early. I don't know. He disappeared. Let's see, we're at the 12 minute mark. I'll probably write a 15 minute prediction. But already we're having some nice early reconnaissance battles. And I am going to now write on my sticky note, uh, just prepping it for highlights. I have a really good system for the PvP channel now because uh, everything's caught up. Uh, I will get the footage edited within one or two days and then fr um, on the uh, YouTube channel. And then when I feel like it, I'll front log it, you know? when I need to do something for a few hours because my computer is busy with something else. Like footage processing or whatnot. Alright. I need to locally mute myself. That was a great drop by Dave here. Yeah, okay, so it's P for projectiles. <laughs> so this is a modified vanilla interface. Uh, the issue is we're in a Russian community. It's in Russian. I can't read Russian. <laughs> so, um, well. Can I toggle that off? It doesn't look like it. That's okay. App data is the platform menu. I don't have an app data key, though. Or app menu key. That's weird. Uh, o is for icons. Yeah, I knew that one. Height, faster, slower, vision modes, map. That's for the vanilla interface. Well, I was going to go ahead locally mute myself. Because I think the dead people, we can hear them locally. Because uh, we can't use Ilbenex plugin on this stuff because they're using the older version of TFAR, not TFAR beta. Yeah, I was hoping like I'd get the the normal thing that pops up there, but that is okay. I think that is everything I need to know. Otherwise, I want to make sure projectiles are up though, because everyone loves watching projectiles going. All right, we've officially hit the 15 minute mark. If nothing, I I know there's gonna be combat here over the next 15 minutes. We'll see these forces move around. I think I am gonna run a 20 minute uh, betting time. It is looking like it is in Blue Force favor though because we do have just look at the sheer amount of forces coming in we do have op force about to potentially counter some of these blue four guys coming in here though noah's just uh under a berm right uh right there but yeah op four could potentially do a massive counter attack and immediately reinforce the central ao that they need to defend because I mean, at this point, they're going to freaking need it. I think Op4 is going to realize how many contacts are in this uh, forest moving up. They're going to realize how many are moving up down here. You're going to see a lot of stuff pull around. You'll see the tank get in a position to overwatch this town. And honestly, the tank has a lot of good firing angles from the rear to potentially engage enemy infantry as they cross into the open. Same with any IFV placement. Uh, since they have this hill back here, they could easily lock this AO down and force German um, Solitude Gaming to push up their vehicle support onto the exposed MSRs and potentially get taken out uh, as long as those areas are being locked down. So you have uh, a Blue Force spec team here. I call them a spec team because of the fact they have suppressors. We just heard that one suppressed shot. Um, could have been from any type of weapon recently because that was the vanilla sound. Looks like they have the... Uh, Reconnaissance 762 by 51 NATO rifles there. At least that's what they're cal um, chambered in. Oh, man. 
20 minute delay today you know that's insane but hey i <laughs> it's the price for a community fight like this man totally worth it wow I, you heard the loud shot over here was that zicky just con <laughs> counter bitch slapping him with that i wouldn't be surprised with his acog we got some really heavy hitters over here but yeah, they already killed another guy too, so I think that spec out team is going to be denied, but that's going to keep, you know, eight people pinned on the edge of the map, whereas the main fight over here is where it's really, really important. All right, I know for a fact this fighting is about to get really heavy, so I'm going to put my prediction up now for 20 minutes. Uh, blue for... Yeah. Alright, that should be good. Actually, let me dismiss that real quick. I'm not sure if I... try that again yeah because i didn't set it for 20 minutes i set it for 30 seconds god i'm a goober okay there we go all right now to focus on the rest of the ao here still you got blue four guys pressing forward here they're trying to engage what they can still have a few uh Polish scouts here staying low. They know they're probably getting surrounded at this point. Oh, we got guys getting really close to each other here, though. Fighting scout troops. I'm hearing shooting in the distance. I'm not seeing any flashing symbols, though, to indicate where that's coming from. However, these cars might be immediately engaged from defenders to the south, but... Oh, man. If you are one of these Op4 guys up here, though, you are probably shit bricks, though. Because you are alone up here. No support. Your best bet is to take out who you can. But if you do not have a suppressor on your gun, you need to keep moving because you are in the middle of a hornet's nest. And a certain explosion somewhere around the AO. That could have been a grenade or something else. But Cat is now taking fire from his left. He's immediately trying to pull away. Returns a grenade. Doesn't go down far enough, though. Another grenade going around on the right side. He manages to find an angle where he can get out of here, though. As he's got German forces immediately to his right. Look at how close they get without seeing each other. Oh, Cat turns right. Takes him out immediately. Lucas, though, comes around, but also Cat takes fire from Anarchy and goes down. Again, these scouts are just out here to interdict what they can find in Blue 4 here. But my god, it's just a suicide mission with the amount of dudes that are out there. Holy crap, stream is now live. Excellent. Gonna have a sip of tea here. I mean, yeah, this could still go either way. The amount of blue four forces have right here, it's definitely, I want to say, 75. No. At least 85% of their forces all right here pushing in. They've got a little picket group to the south. They had that four-man recon team now down to three. It was two at one point, but they brought one guy back. Compared to the Polish defenders on WOG here, they have only about 30 to 50% of their force committed to where they actually need it. There's going to be a lot of forces pushing back. We have a wounded guy in the forest over here. What happened there? Uh, I guess the bush won. <laughs> oh, man. But look at the, the sheer amount of the German force over here. Again, Germans are solitude gaming, but... Or, Solitude Games. My bad. I keep calling them gaming. But I would right now like to give a shout out to both Solitude and WOG for letting me cover their awesome 220 player match. Because my freaking god, watching 220 players do a one life scenario is probably the craziest PvP I've ever seen. Because they have full on tanks, APCs, IFVs, auto cannons, GMGs, you name it. And it just gets messy. But look at that. That all doesn't matter. 
if you only give one shot like that. Also, we have a custom mod set for the group, so it looks like they give a wounded animation like that before they uh, go into the ace animation. Had to download a new custom mod set from uh, Solitude for this one. Not that I'm complaining. Oh, man. So he is down. We got another dog ghost is going to be in the middle of a lot of dudes up there. More, I'm curious what they're suppressing. Oh, he's already running away, unfortunately. His tracer fire was coming up to, I believe, this ridge line. He might have been shooting at the Humvee, which is why it's pulling back so quickly. But there we go. The AGS is firing. These are the assets I want to keep watch of. Nakey Man over here is going to be covering, but that is going to be the scariest thing that Solitude fights are those freaking GMGs and the autocannons. Because those AGSs, it's easier, in my opinion, to track down an IFV compared to an AGS, which is quieter. But look at that fire. It is hurting them. So they're going prone. They're trying to evade it. But if Blue Four tries to prematurely charge one of these open areas, or if they go through one of these narrow areas and group up, that AGS is going to shred the shit out of them. And they get a lot of ammo in those vehicles, too. So they can be very, very liberal with their fire. Very frivolous, if I might say so myself. Got more fighting over here on the side. You're hearing GL rounds go in. Oh, that sounds awesome. They've got some sound mods in their pack, too. I can't identify what. It might be JSRS or something else, but it sounds good. It sounds mwah, excellent. All right. I'm wondering at what point is Op4 going to commit all their forces into uh, secondary defense line. Because now you got Blue 4 starting to bring their support vehicles up. You got the Puma locking down this area. Not going to have any sight lines yet. But if Blue 4 is allowed to deploy and develop their vehicles first before Op4 can get their forces in defensive positions, this fight is going to be a quick one. This is meant to be a two-hour match. They had a 30-minute safe start, which I admit they were waiting on me. That was That was my bad. Um, I set the mods to download last night from Arma 3 Sync. Uh, they- Oh! Huh, throw a grenade, get a grenade by Farah up there, but that grenade double taps this one guy. Ooh. And then Cookie throws another grenade just to be safe, but, um, I had about 43 gigs to download over some mods, and, uh, my computer decided after the 6 gig to break itself, so... I just scrambled to download over the past few hours. But I'm barely happy they uh, they waited for me. And now we can enjoy this fight. But look at this. That Humvee just realized it's taking auto cannon fire from one of the two Pumas. And now that Blue Four has been allowed to lock their stuff down. They're weasels. Thank you, RGA. There's three Pumas right here. And that's just going to... And they have the tank on standby to pull out. Uh, in case a heavy asset shows up. That's smart. Uh, because that leaves the more, um, you know, plentiful assets to take out infantry and what they can here. But I'm really worried about Op4 now. You see them maneuvering forces back. It's not enough, though. They still have so much stuff on the southern line. I'm worried this is going to turn into a scenario where Blue 4 gets right on top of the objective. Op 4 starts turning their forces around. But as Op 4 does all that, Blue 4 is already entrenched and will immediately start shelling with things like Pumas here. Now, here's the deal. For um, someone to be declared a victor here, uh, since WOG won the, the two rounds last week, if they win one more round, they're declared the victor for this one. If Solitude wins both rounds, both sides tie. Similar to how FNF and OFCRA went. Um, OFCRA won their home match. FNF won their home match, so that was a tie. But let's see. That was one of the weasels getting hit by AT. I'm going to assume it was Blade based off of the trajectory. Oh, that is artillery. Blade might have just gotten... Uh, taking some stray shrapnel from an artillery shell there. I was not aware that there were any artillery assets here. We have that medevac, Vic. You see the smoke coming up from 
over yonder. I, I'm not sure if that was artillery or a tank shell, to be perfectly honest. But it sounded like artillery. And you hear that Humvee continuing to cook. Excuse me, the weasel continuing to cook. Look at all the hunt IR usage, though. Op for yeah, they only got five people up on this line. They're fighting the unit at least six times their size. That's a good 20 to 30 guys. More auto cannon fire hitting this garrison now. Op four is misidentifying where they're being engaged from, thinking Blue Four is a lot closer and expending ammo early on. That's just gonna give away their positions as Blue Four from other areas move in. And yes, once again, this is uh, it's a 20 minute delay today. Uh, that's just how Solitude does stuff compared to WOG. And it's something I will gladly respect because A, you don't want stream sniping to happen, and B, this is a 220 player event. I'm gonna do literally anything to cover it. <laughs> so Kiln taking uh, some crossfire here as GMG's rain from above them. Those are actually hitting your archer's position. But look at that power. This is what I'm talking about here on why the AGSs are so effective. Granted, it's firing into its own guys, but hey, you know, we can pray. Is there a way to join the PvP event? Um, you have to be a member of Solitude or WOG. Uh, Solitude Games or WOG specifically. And you have to speak Russian, because this is one of the Russian events. These are the 200 to 300 player server events that we've only heard in rumor. Great shot there by the uh, YKZ guys there, but we might have some Op4 guys come around on the back here. But these are those uh, events that might have only been fairy tales, only in rumor, and we finally got to find and uh, cover one invited from WOG <laughs> to do this. So I'm glad to show that uh, these aren't just fairy tales, but it is quite possible to have this many people on a server doing PvP, man. This is like a war game wet dream. Like, this is what you'd want militaries to spar over, man. This is how they train and a quote-unquote live combat fire exercise. Not gonna lie, I would love to do something like this at least once every two weeks. Hell, I'd do it once a week. I just need to find a bigger audience for this, but holy crap, this. This is the good stuff. Oh, here we go, all right. So one of the Op 4 vehicles has finally come around. That is, uh, I forget the name of that one. I'm gonna call it a Marshall, but I think it has another name. Have some uh, heavy fire coming out over here. You just had an AT launch over here, probably by one of the blue four elements over here because that sounded like a German launch sound. So that's gonna pull back, but it was able to make one of the Pumas pull back over here. However, it's already getting back into position, firing and maneuvering, probably coordinating with that tank over there to potentially pull that out and snipe it if need be. But look at that, just on the edge of the render distance here, and they are engaging each other, probably with thermal optics. Oh my God, look at that fire. Both are being evasive here, trying to dodge each other as they put rounds into each other, but that Puma is definitely going a lot quicker as the Marshal here just backs off. Looks like neither vehicle suffered any casualties there, but definitely a close call. You gotta love what this team did with the Puma. Just started circling and bombarding with rounds, staying evasive. I just heard another launcher sound. I have no idea where that's gonna go though. I'm up here looking for it. Oh, it wasn't a blue on blue. That would be very unfortunate. But I wanna look at the map here Interesting, so some uh, Blue 4 guys managed to get over here. I don't know what they're doing right here. This could be uh, Blue 4's own version of a suicidal picket to stop any Op 4 from coming in, but you already see Op 4 turning forces around. You see the tank getting into position. You got more IFEs being deployed around the AO. You got this force right here on the southern side, but it could potentially be cut off because Blue 4 is trying to get right here to then cross. And they've got some Sending great forces out here on Overwatch now. ready to cover that opening if they need to. And then that force also coming around. You got this Humvee right here. But yeah, most of the team that belongs to that Humvee is probably dead as they fought a massive group of forces coming in here. But looking at the skull count, you've got, let's see, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 12, 13, 14, 15. Wow. 
16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. 21 skulls on blue for right now. We just heard uh, some sort of guided AT fire. It looked like it was launching in this direction. Might have been a miss. Or that could have been a weasel firing its AT. Pumas also have AT though, so it could have been that too. But looking at Op Force side, oh Jesus, one, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. 27, so 21 to 27 deaths right now. Of course, that's probably just changed because of the amount of auto cannon fire going back and forth. But so far, Solitude has a slight number advantage. I would say they definitely have a positioning advantage too, unless some of these uh, guys in the back line get lucky, as I say. <laughs> All right, well, I just cast a Cursed Marshal right there, just saying that they get lucky on the back line, but you know what I mean. Hopefully, they'll be okay. Hopefully. But Marlboro Reed, thanks for the 16-month resub, my man. I hope you keep enjoying the operations, and I do hope you get a nice kick out of this scenario. Oh, man. Curious to see what the poll is right now. 15.3 to 7.2. Not the biggest numbers, but that's also because we have a massive delay. And these are communities that you guys don't really know. And I hope that it changes over time. Because the fighting here is getting very intense. But this is the objective right here. When you have this much blue four, I guess this many attackers right on the defender's doorstep. And you only have this many defenders here. And I can understand why they didn't garrison these areas heavily. Because of those auto cannons that would tear these buildings apart. And tear any garrison forces apart. But at this point, Op4 are desperately trying to pull their forces back uh, from other lines to get right here. But it's just way too much. Oh, as I went over to Marshall, he died. By the way, the second round is going to be Israelis versus another faction, and it will have plain PvP. I've already seen the unit list. I'm really excited for that one, because the last time we saw plain PvP was uh, OFCRA versus uh, BIA. And they were only limited to guns. I'm really curious to see what uh, the pylons are for the planes here. Because they also have a lot of AA here. Oh, the translation says I committed suicide? That's cute. All right. Well, c'est la vie. All right. That IFE on the northern side finally uh, kicked the bucket here. No, that was one of their tanks. Oh, shit. So that tank tried to reposition itself on the northern side. It got engaged by potentially uh, an AGM. With Op4 losing their tank, though, only one survivor of the crew over here. That is not good. That means Op4 is going to be losing a lot of their vehicle uh, coverage here. We do have, again, they're doing a great job with their infantry and the IFEs where they can, but Blue4, I mean, they've got a full platoon of Pumas. They've got a uh, tank in the back line, which is now deployed and overwatching, but has taken a hit. So it is going to be detracked, but looks like the gun is still active. But still, that's a really good position for that tank to be in because it can lock down this entire area here until another ATGM hits it. But the Pumas in front are going to be covering it. The Weasels as well with the auto cannons. And then they got some Fushis uh, back here for support on the guns uh, in case they need to pull up and, uh, I guess, block missiles. <laughs> Oh, man. But, yeah, Blue 4 now completely has that northern uh, little peninsula. I'm going to call it of a uh, forested area here. And that's just going to help stop any Op 4 from coming in. Also, I'd say servers completely stabilized at this point as, uh, you know, the first rains of casualties have come in. Oh, we got IFEs for Op 4 pulling back. It's not looking good for WOG for this round. Blue 4, they've uh, gotten in one of the Humvees here. They're just chilling inside for the moment, checking it out. Wouldn't blame them, but hey, if you take their vehicles, that means they're going to only have to be able to pull back on foot, which is going to slow them down. I do love, though, that there is the medical foosh back here. People are dying way too quickly to receive medevac, unfortunately. My god.
The lighting is also changing a little bit, getting a little more gloomy. I love it. Now you got the Pumas crossing in the open here, though. Literally, the objective they have to take is right here. I think this mission is going to be done in 20 to 30 minutes, to be perfectly honest. I think Blue 4 is going to be able to just stampede into here, move their forces around, encircle this AO, and then send what infantry superiority they have to take it, and that's going to be it. Just the fact that Blue 4 have their forces right here, you see them occasionally sniping players here. You hear those rounds going overhead. That's the same sound I heard earlier that I thought was a mortar, but you've got elements of AV in the 31st. They're going to push in from right here. Take that. You also got some CU guys. Well, oh, big mix of dudes. FMWD. But with the vehicle support completely locking this angle down, I don't think that's going to be the case. Also, I think my lighting's different because my character that's spectating, his wounds reopened, and now he is slowly bleeding out. So we'll see what happens with that. I'm trying to see if there's a way for me to get back. I don't think so, though. I can't bandage. <laughs> oh, well. Because I think this is me just losing blood, and that's bleeding into my spectator interface. That's fine. Doom and gloom. It's the first time I've done something like this. You know, we work everything out where we can. But look at this massive amount of blue for that's going to come in here on the northern side. There's already a squad being deployed. Look at that, though. You've got... People, uh, oh, he's got AT. He's trying to hunt down that IFV. Similar to what we saw last week. One of the WOG guys do. Uh, this is modded. Uh, once again, it's uh, with a custom set of mods that I had to download. So, uh, you know, last week's was WOGs. This week's is uh, Solitude Games. Op for again doing their best to hold this line. That's funny that my character's uh ace healing thing has come in here and is uh it's causing it all to get all doom and gloom. And again, I don't think there's any way for me to get back to that character. I forget where I am. I'm listed as a green four unit, but I'm not on the interface. <laughs> oh, that's funny. All right, a lot of GL fire coming in right here. Blue four quickly trying to pull back from it. Again, you'll see elements of Op4 trying to counter where they can, but just the sheer amount of Blue 4 around, that's going to make this incredibly tough. And we got a lot of Op4 coming in on this side. Oh, yeah, that's going to be an issue. Um, One second, there's someone I can poke. <laughs> I figured that might be coming. I had a feeling this might happen. All right, I can only I can only watch. At least I'm on top of the AO here, so I can still cover things. Let's uh, let's give him a warm welcome, shall we? Uh, maybe there's another desync spike though. Oh, I can still scroll back and forth. All right, I can make this work. I can make this work. It's from my all-seen spectator eye. 
Oh my god. And I think the server was getting slightly desynky, so they paused it as well, but this is funny. I'm sure someone in 20 minutes will tell me what that means. Two minutes something something something. Alright. It's Liru's all-seeing eye. So the reason it happened was the admin that was with me uh, threw a grenade to kill himself. And I was just told to use the scroll wheel option to spectate. So I guess it, I should have just killed myself. Uh, but I was told to use the scroll wheel option. So I'm like, alright, cool. But... He gave me a wound and I had no way to heal it. And I'm like, oh, okay, I, I guess I'll die. I could try respawning. Yeah, I don't think that worked. Okay, well, also it's because the server is has its entire sim disabled. So that could be it. But it's it's Liru's all-seeing eye. See, because it's, it's kind of his shape like an eye here. Spectator interface 2.0. <laughs> Doom and gloom. <laughs> I can't open the map, though. So we just have to guess what's going on as I scroll around. <laughs> Challenges are given every week to Liru to master a new spectating interface. <laughs> All right, well, we have a lot of blue people down there. A lot down there. Not a lot over there. Op4 only has a handful right here as the first wave of Op4. All right, sorry, just poking him back because he's saying right now it's lag and freeze time because of that, which I get. But I mean, this is this is hilarious because they're gonna watch this back. He says they'll fix it when they um, unfreeze the server, which you'd expect something like this to happen quite a bit because again, 220 players on a damn server, it's whew, it's a lot. But again, I'm no. All right, one second. Uh, I need to throw my stock image up. This happened last time as well. Oh, yeah, you saw the blood on. Okay, no, I put my uh, interface up beforehand. The server might have just completely crashed, unfortunately. Yeah, no, it's... Oh, man, that is that is unfortunate. Ha, 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 ha. 